I was like, no, 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 this is more of the Paul Greengrass, Jason Bourne type of shaky cam where things, it's super shaky. Mm -hmm. It's super shaky, but like it's edited very smoothly. Yeah. So I was like, oh, okay. And like, no problem. Yeah, because I was stoned and stuff. I was like, goddamn, I know it's the weed they hit me this hard. <laughs> I'm fucking tripping balls right now. I mean, the camera was just like, it was holding frame, but it was just so shaky. Mm -hmm. What's good, everybody? It's your boy K here. And I'm A. Rick. And welcome back to another Blaze Review movie review session. And tonight, we gotta take a hit that nice, juicy comedy joint rolled up nice and tight by what was his name? David. D uh, Michael. My Michael Dowles. Yeah, Michael Dowles. Not, not really a big director or nothing like that. He does a little bit of everything. He TV does some music. like cult comedy films. Mm -hmm. so nice. Far. Yeah. yeah. Now, now he's bringing us in that new joint, yeah. starring Dave Batista, Camille Nun, what's the Camille name? Camille Johnny. Yeah. yeah, I've struggled with those names. <laughs> but yeah, they're in this new joint called Stuber. And Stuber follows Stu, the Uber driver, you know, clever, Stu Uber, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And then they, now he's picking up this guy named Vic, and Vic is a police officer who's working his case, and now it's they going head to head trying to find a drug dealer, mm -hmm. generic shit, I yeah, guess. And comedy ensues. Yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, as always, hit that like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and also spark it up in the comment section. Let us know, were you excited to see Stuber? I mean, were you excited to see this joint? Yeah, you know, I like Kumail Nanjani. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you thought, said that about the Men in Black. Yeah, stuff. yeah, I like the Men in Black. His voice is just, his, it's not his voice, it's his delivery of, of lines. He's just a very natural at that mm -hmm. um, for comedy. Yeah, I liked him whenever he was in the big short. Mm -hmm. that, Y'all don't think you've seen it, huh? Mm -mm. It was like a Prime, I think, movie. But it was okay. it got like a whole bunch of like critical buzz and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know what you're talking mm -hmm. about, yeah. Yeah, he's um my first probably my first uh run in with Kamel Nanjani as I've seen his work was on Franklin and Bash. Mm -hmm. I love that show. It got cancelled because <laughs> y'all are a bunch of Philistines. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, I'm more into it more because of like the Dave Batista aspect because I'm like a huge wrestling fan and mm -hmm. I saw I like oh, okay my boy Dave Batista isn't here and like after what uh what was that he was in Blade Runner yeah like he now oh yeah, role, yeah, like, yeah a legit yeah. actor no, and stuff like, he can act bro yeah a legit actor that's too good for Fast and Furious movies as he said so <laughs> <laughs> so instead he did Stuber I mean which looked pretty stupid from the trailers and stuff. yeah I was like oh wait you, you did this but you, <laughs> you're yeah. roasting fucking Fast and Furious but you're gonna do Stuber but oh, you're gonna okay. go ride around in a Nissan Leaf oh okay yeah. <laughs> But hey, was Stuber a big pile of dog shit? Or was it actually a good movie, unlike the Fast and the Furious movies? Well, you know what we did. We got stoned and went out to go see Stuber just so we could let you guys know whether you guys go waste your time, your money, and more importantly, that good old weed on Stuber. Tell him no. Hold on, I'm gonna bang a Yui here real quick. Nope, don't got it. Step on it, please. Oh, didn't quite make it. Just, just a couple more points and we got it. So, I mean, you sat down in the theater, took a hit of Stuber, you got a good high from it, or? Yeah, I did. Um, that opening scene, that set the tone. Uh, oh, like I said, I say this all the time, my action comedies, start with the violence, start with the action first, mm -hmm. or else I'm gonna just be sitting there like, this is stupid. Oh yeah, I'm gonna introduce Dave Batista. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was fucking uh, Sophie <laughs> Turner for a while. You know, when I'm stoned, all of my people just look alike. Bro, it's like red hair, <laughs> white face, Sophia Turner. <laughs> I was like, yeah, okay. Yeah, you just gotta let me go. Yeah, off. I'm like, yeah. Hey, she's in here too. Fuck Dark Phoenix. You're like, what the fuck is he talking? I was like, about? like, hey, <laughs> whatever. That's Nebula, but okay. <laughs> yeah, but like, it starts off with them two trying to bust yeah. the dude. Yeah, what, Halo it's, or uh, Eco Weiss. Um, oh, that was him. Yeah, well, I couldn't even tell. <laughs> you don't know anybody in this movie. Yeah, <laughs> every race looked the same to me. I guess we never. <laughs> that was Eco Weiss. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's why the action part was so good. Then, I yeah, guess. no, he's he's the best. But I was like, that little Asian dude could fucking fight. Why, was, why wasn't he in the raid? Uh, oh, he wasn't right now. It turns out he, he was is the raid. The <laughs> yeah, uh, he was good, and throughout the movie, I thought he was good. Mm -hmm. They they I I'm, I'm uh, grateful that this director, along with many others, they find a way to give him things to do mm -hmm. in movies without like making him have to say too much because I think his English, he's still trying to bring it along yeah. with his English. His English wasn't all that great in mile 22 or whatever. Right, yeah. He was he was struggling I think in mile 22. But like everybody else was. <laughs> but <laughs> um, Now I'll say this, the uh, the shaky cam in that first fight, 
I was, it was worrying me. Oh yeah, it was really worrying. Me. I was just sitting there, I was like, Whoa, but I was Whoa, like, I was like, no, no, Whoa. this is more of the Paul Greengrass, Jason Bourne type of shaky cam where things it's super shaky, mm -hmm. it's super shaky, but like it's edited very smoothly. Yeah. So I was like, oh, okay, and like no problem. Yeah, cause I was stoning stuff. But I was like, goddamn, I know it's the weed they hitting this hard. <laughs> I'm fucking tripping balls right now. I mean, the camera was just like. <laughs> It was holding frame, but it was just so shaky. Mm. And I hate when they do that with people who actually know action. Cause like, yeah, Nico like, was like good at action. And Dave Bautista's a fucking pro wrestler. He knows how to make that yeah. shit look real. Oh, stuff. yeah, yeah, yeah. They're but both yeah. entertainers. But like from what you can see right out the shaky cam, it looked like it was some good choreographed action. Yeah, yeah, real smooth. Um, like you said, like throughout the whole movie, mm -hmm. I thought the action was pretty good too. Mm -hmm. Even with the car stuff that was going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there, there was that one car moment where that dude's face got like exploded. Oh. You just like lost it. I, dude, that was because I was like, <laughs> when he grabbed that, I was like, okay, where are they going with this? Where are they go? Oh, okay, they took the funniest <laughs> route possible. Oh like, <laughs> they took the funniest route possible. Yeah, uh, I, I enjoyed the humor throughout in this movie. Mm -hmm. To me, like, I'm not. I've told y'all a bunch of times. I'm not into like the younger stuff. If it now, if it's childish, if it's yeah, if it's childish, um, no, nah, I mean like for anything, mm -hmm. um, like and even even animated movies, like or comedies or whatever. When they rely on like physical gags. And yeah, stuff. it's like okay, that was dumb because it's not rated R, so you can't take it to its like furthest conclusion. Mm -hmm. You know, um, that's why I like American Dad so much. Like they just take things. And that's what this reminded me of, like a live action American Dad, like in a good way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I got the visceral like comedy and visceral violence. Yeah, in terms of violence and like the visceralness, like mm -hmm. yeah, they earn that R rating and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm like, God, there's a lot of gory stuff and headshots mm -hmm. going on in there. Oh yeah. Like oh, yeah, another big high I thought though was came from like Dave Batista. I thought he was brought like a lot of the big funny parts to me in here. Yeah. Yeah. He, I didn't he, was think he was really, that funny, yeah. Yeah, he was doing a good job of carrying this. Mm -hmm. and I thought him and Kumail and Johnny, for the most part, they worked off each other mm -hmm. pretty well. They were like I think the only bad scene was, or the, not bad scene, but I think the scene that drug out too long was when they went back to the store. Oh, I hated that part. That, I, yeah, can you wrap this? Yeah, shit up? <laughs> that, that, that really, that was the only point where I was like, man, this is really just sad right here for mm -hmm. no reason. Because it was bringing me down. I was like, come, please wrap this up. But then like the climax finally happened. I'm yeah. like, okay, now yeah, I'm back in. Yeah, I, mean, exactly. I don't think this movie knows how Uber works and stuff. Like, no, that whole story they were lying. Just, they were lying. I, I, I turned you like, bro, I drive Uber. This is not how that fucking shit works, bro. <laughs> you can cancel that shit if you want to. Yeah. That would mess with your cancellation rate or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, there's that part. And like, I thought, uh, I didn't, I liked Camille, like some parts in here with him and Dave, but I thought he was like probably the weaker person in here with the comedy mm -hmm. stuff. Especially since he comes from like a kind of the comedy. Yeah, background. well, I think it was designed for Batista to carry the movie because mm -hmm. he, in the movie, like he's blind. Like, not blind, but he has, he has terrible Blind. He has terrible, okay. he has terrible eyesight. So there's just a million gags with that. Mm -hmm. And some of them are like really funny and some of them are like, oh, okay, like we get it, you're blind. But for the most part, it, it, it's a plus to, yeah. for the comedy. So I think that's why yeah, they, he, they were he, giving he him more of those physical comedy moments. And I think Nanjani was just like playing off of him. He might not even had a script. He might have just been going, <laughs> no, like seriously, he might have just been going off him because he can do that. Yeah, I, I think he's that. pretty good at that. Yeah, like that blind thing that was going on. I mean, he got worse eyesight than me, obviously, because yeah. I can't tell actors apart. But his <laughs> eyesight in here was like wishy washy at times. Yeah, like, he's supposed to be blind, and I'm like, dude, how the fuck are you getting so many headshots right now? Yeah, dude? like yeah, there was that. But I did like that scene though when he was blind driving that car though. Bro, <laughs> it kind of reminded me of, like the Wolf of Wall Street when he was. Oh, when he was on those quaaludes <laughs> and he couldn't move and he's like, uh. <laughs> Dave Batista driving around like, oh bitch, get the fuck out of the way. The old man was like, what the fuck? He's <laughs> running past the car. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? No, when he put it in the, yeah, when he when he when he finished driving that car, I was like, <laughs> that's hilarious. We're not gonna tell you what happened. That, that was hilarious. Yeah, the whole scene was pretty good and stuff. And I thought. His character had like the most emotional parts and stuff throughout the whole movie. Um, like yeah. stuff with his daughter. Um, yes, yeah. Um, they kept that going throughout, you know, and it was building character. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like what, in this comedy, towards the end of it, I was like, man, they didn't like waste a bunch of our time with gags. Like, there was actual story here. This is what I want out of a comedy. Like, give me a story. He's trying to hunt down these people, you know, finish his case, and they just went, like, they broke it down mm -hmm. for when they went clues and. They were forming plans. It was like, it felt good like yeah. to watch this. But at the same time too though, that was like a really basic ass story. Oh no, no. It was, I don't care how basic. It was super basic, but like each, you know, each little moment served its purpose except for like the store thing. Like mm -hmm. that's the only thing I was like, what? Cause I don't even like the, um, like I think using Batista's daughter and uh, Stu's uh, like friend, his like lady, his platonic girlfriend or whatever. I don't know what the fuck was going on. Like with yeah, using them it helped them build their character though. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like you can see, it's like okay, it's not enough to just yeah he's freaking out because stuff's violent, but it's not enough to just show us that he's like a pussy. Like yeah. showing like why, like okay, like he can't like 
with this woman, he's he, he's uh he's showing how he's coming up weak with her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I mean, he did fuck her though, so I don't know why he was. I don't, I don't know what that was tripping about. I was like, yeah, dude, you already fucked her, so why are you tripping, dude? <laughs> he was tripping. You already got the cat. He was the most tripping. Important thing. He was tripping so hard, bro. I was... So what would you rate this joint? I would give this a solid worth of hit. Probably a high worth of hit, actually. Ain't like you got shit to do tomorrow. You don't have to go to work. Don't take it. Hit. Like it, it was, I was laughing like the whole time, you know. And he knows me, like, oh, oh, that was funny. Normally in comedies, you just sit there like that. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, during comedy, I was gotta look over, I'm like, okay, he must hate this. Guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I sit there like, this is not entertaining whatsoever. I'm <laughs> Why the fuck are you guys laughing? At that? <laughs> That's not funny. Sometimes I, I do get mad. I'm like, I look at him like, what are they laughing at? <laughs> what are they laughing at? <laughs> he just said doo doo, goddamn it. <laughs> Like yeah, it doesn't even revolve around that like that cheap kind of humor. Oh no, they don't go there. No, they don't go there. But the comedy they do have in here is pretty good. Like when they, I, I was losing when they went to that strip club. Oh, like, I was oh, dying, dude. When dude walked by, I was like, yo, they didn't just do that, bro. They didn't just do that. I was thinking like, I was like, damn, are y'all trying to say something? Why was that strip club, that gay strip club, yeah. with all old black dudes? <laughs> and they were just chilling. It was I'm like, I try to say all black dudes are gay or some shit. Like, I mean, I know I am. They, I mean. they were on the down low, bro. <laughs> they were hardcore down low over there, bro. But yeah, like you said, uh, Dave Batista really carried this movie, and I thought he was pretty enjoyable throughout the whole thing. Mm -hmm. he, although I didn't like Camille all that much throughout yeah. the whole thing, I thought he did good. When yeah, he was, was serviceable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the action I thought was a big solid high. Yeah. You know? It was yeah. more than I thought it was going to be. Oh, it was way more. I mean, there was shootouts and ch car chases, mm -hmm. and, you know, there was a sense of urgency. For, and it was pretty good for a, a film that's not like against the clock kind mm -hmm. of thing. Yeah. But at the same time, like I said, the story was kind of basic. There was that little thing that drug that movie down for me with yeah. the whole uh, what was the, the outdoors thing. Yeah, that, that sporting now. goods thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And some of the jokes don't land that well. And the villains, I thought they were pretty fucking. Oh, the villains so. were from Bland City. Like <laughs> they were from Bland City, Los Angeles, dude. Yeah. So I'll say I'll give it some high grade Reggie. Ah, damn! Some goddamn Rego. Rango. Ah. Like if you want to go take a hit of this joint, yeah, and you want to go hit a laugh of a bit, bit yeah, oh, laugh. Oh, dude, yeah, you will laugh at this because I was like laughing the whole time. Mm. <laughs> I was laughing the whole time. I was, I, I, there were several points I was the only person laughing just because I, I could see what they were doing and I'm just like, man, this is, this is hilarious. Yeah, it's not a laugh ride of the summer, but you are going to laugh though. Mm -hmm. No matter what your opinion about movies are. Yeah. But I mean, hey, that was just our high opinion. What we're going to know is, what you guys think of this joint? Yeah, and no, if you have any comments or opinions, drop them down in the comment section and we can help you get your mind right. And then go ahead and let us know which was your favorite Dave Batista movie or Camille movie. What would yours be? My favorite Dave Batista movie, um, it's probably. Just say Blade Runner. You know you want to say Blade Runner. Well, well no, I, he didn't have enough in there. <laughs> I'm going to say probably the. The, uh, the first Guardians of the Galaxy, just because it was so shocking to see him in that role, and mm -hmm. I thought it was funny. Yeah, I'll probably say, yeah, I'll probably say Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Yeah. I like that one. He was funnier better. in Guardians of the Galaxy mm -hmm. 2, but just the shock of the first one. I was like, dang, all right. <laughs> and my favorite Kumail Nanjani movie, or my, my favorite thing that Kumail Nanjani was in is Franklin and Bash. Yeah. He, he played a hypochondriac, and he was just hilarious. Yeah, mine's a big short, like I said earlier. Well, I mean, yeah, like I said, spark it up in the comment section. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and be a part of the Blaze Crew where we stay getting super stoned off of everything movie related. I'm Kay. And I'm A. And hey, before that Uber driver comes, make sure you blaze it first. Don't stink up their car.